I just recently passed Microsoft AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam and this video is going to cover everything I use to study for the exam, who this exam is for, and how you can study and pass this exam. What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I am a cybersecurity analyst and college student. And on this channel, I talk about cybersecurity, college, certifications, and internships. This video is gonna be a quick overview of how I studied and passed the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. As more and more companies are moving their IT infrastructures to cloud environments like Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud, Cloud computing skills are going to start becoming high demand skills. So now is a really great time to start building skills in cloud computing service providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. And I just recently passed the AZ900. I'm gonna be showing you how you can study and pass the AZ900 and also start building your skills in cloud computing. What does the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals cover? According to Microsoft, the AZ900 covers skills in cloud concepts, Azure services, core solutions and management tools in Azure, general security and network security features in Azure, identity, compliance, privacy, and governance features in Azure, and Azure cost management and service level agreements. So these are the major things that are covered in the AZ900 exam. And the AZ900 is gonna test you on if you have a good and solid understanding of this skills as they relate to Azure. Now, how do you study for this exam? I'm gonna be giving you four resources that you can use to study for this exam. Now, the number one resource that you can use is the free Microsoft to learn website that covers everything you need for the Azure Fundamentals. And I'm gonna leave the link to this website in the description. This website covers everything you need to learn for the Azure Fundamentals. And it's divided into six sections covering all the core areas required by the AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam. And this document has all the resources that you need to study and pass this exam. It also has labs included, so I would recommend creating a free Azure account so that you can also practice the skills you're learning from this and for, for this exam and also be able to re really reinforce them through the labs that you'll be doing from this course. The second resource I recommend is Code Academy's YouTube video. And this video is a three hour long video or you can call it a course. And this video covers everything you also need for this exam. Um, it's a really high level overview of everything required for the AZ900. But what I like about this video is it just goes through the points required and goes straight to the point, defines each of these concepts and relates them to how you would probably see them in the exam and everything you need to know for the understanding of how to pass the AZ900 exam. The third resource I recommend is Tim Warner's YouTube playlist covering the AZ900 as well. And this playlist is a 69 video long playlist. I'm not really sure about the number, but the playlist covers everything you need for this exam and covers each concept in short videos that you can easily assimilate and also cover some walkthrough videos about going through certain things in a lab and format that can help you understand the concepts you're learning in this exam so i highly recommend tim warner's youtube playlist if you're looking for a really really in-depth course that covers everything you need for this exam and the final resource i recommend is john seville's video on youtube it's a 55 minute video and it's not necessarily a course but it's really a high level overview of everything you need for the azure exam so this video covers all of the concepts but in a really really short and detailed and connected manner so i recommend this video for you if you're done with all of your studies and you're looking for something to kind of brush up over everything you've studied it's not really like an in-depth course like the other ones i've recommended but it is something to really help you as a refresher to kind of cover everything you've studied from the other resources i mentioned now if you know like from my other past exams i like using practice exams to kind of test myself and know what level i'm at before attempting a certification exam and for this particular exam i use used Wiz Labs practice exams, which are free. I really recommend this visuals because it's really close to what you would probably expect from the actual exam and the way it is worded, the way the test is designed, kind of shows you how the exam would actually be. So this resource is free, so I recommend you checking it out and trying it out and testing your knowledge of how far you have gone in your studies or how knowledgeable you are you are based of this based of the resources you've used so if you're really trying to get like um, a good understanding of where you are at in your studies definitely try out Wiz Labs practice exams Wiz Labs also has some labs that you can try I personally didn't try the labs because I've worked with Azure extensively and I also did the labs provided in Microsoft to learn documents so if you already did the labs provided by Microsoft in their, on their website, I think that should be very sufficient for you. But if you're looking to try more, definitely look at Wiz Labs labs and 
just so you know it is paid for uh, it's not free like the practice exams but i think it would definitely be worth it to do extra labs to kind of gain a better understanding of what you're going to be doing in the exam so those are the resources i recommend if you're trying to study for the az 900 microsoft azure fundamentals exam and as you can see a lot of these resources are free so i really don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't start studying for this exam today and you know take it as soon as possible so you can start building your skills in azure or cloud computing in general because i believe the azure fundamentals is a really really great way to get your foot in the door in terms of understanding how cloud computing works i personally have worked with azure extensively in the past so this was a really really good way to put like a credential on my knowledge of azure and a really great way to start building off more on what i already know about azure and probably do other high level azure certifications in the future but this was a really really great exam and i highly recommend it for anyone who's trying to get a better understanding of cloud computing as well as a better understanding of how azure environments work so this exam is a fairly easy exam i had studied for it last year december but due to some technical difficulties with person view view i was unable to take it last year so um, this time when I studied for it, it took me about a couple of days to go over the revision and just kind of brush over some of the things I'd already studied in the past and I've, I'd already learned about. So it was fairly easy for me to complete, but generally it will take you at least two weeks to a month to complete this exam. And it's also dependent on how fast you go. So you don't necessarily have to spend that time range. Go for as long as you can um, in terms of studying and in terms of understanding the material. But I would say typically it should be around two weeks to a month to cover the material and be able to take the exam and pass the exam. So like I said, I really recommend this exam for anyone who's looking to start getting a feel of how comp cloud computing works. I will definitely be taking more exams from Azure as well as from other cloud service providers like AWS. As you guys know, AWS is the biggest cloud service provider. And you know, uh, understanding of AWS is gonna be definitely important for cybersecurity professionals because you will find yourself securing cloud environments and understanding how those cloud environments work is gonna be really important. So if you're a cybersecurity professional or aspiring cyber security professional i recommend you start learning about cloud computing because you're going to have to be monitoring cloud environments or securing cloud cloud environments and having that knowledge is going to help you greatly as a cybersecurity professional thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button subscribe check out my other videos you're definitely going to find something of value there and be sure to share this video to anyone who you think it would provide value to once again thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video